this video, I will be sharing to you our first ever wild camping experience. We chose to spend the night in the Komera Mountain, overlooking the stunning Komshingon Lock. This place is located in County Waterford, a two-hour drive from Dublin. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here, my name is Rain. I am so excited to show you where we are going today because this is our very first time to try wild camping and we will do it on top of the mountains of Komera, overlooking a very beautiful lake. But before that, we are going to visit Mahon Waterfalls, which is just behind me. Let's go! Oh, it's here. There's a free parking space over here and it's gonna be a 20 minute walk going to the waterfalls. Wild camping is one of the best alternatives to disconnect from day-to-day -day life. It will be a good opportunity to immerse in nature. Before we decided to try wild camping, my husband did a lot of research if it's safe, if it's allowed in Ireland, rules and parking areas for our car. Rising up to 80 meters and offering striking views across the county and beyond, Mahon Falls is part of the gorgeous Comer Mountain Range. There is a trail that you can take to go on top of the Mahon Falls, but we took a calculated detour to reach the natural pool under the most photogenic of the waterfalls. Be extra careful if you leave the trails, as these waterfalls can be dangerous and there have been accidents that happened in the area before. Oh gosh, it's so warm, it feels like I'm in my own country. But it's so beautiful here. <laughs> Look at there, it's so nice. After a tiring trek to the Mahon Falls, it is time to fuel our bodies with good food before venturing to another adventure. So now we are in a free parking space and we're about to go on top of the Comera Mountains and set up our tent before it becomes dark. So this parking lot is free. I'm going to carry Chano's camera bag with all his camera and lenses and Chano will carry this very heavy bag. <laughs> I think it's heavier than me. That's why he's working out so that he can carry heavy things. Inside this bag, we have our tents, sleeping bags, and foods as well. This is supposed to be a safe parking space because there are CCTV everywhere. But we still bought this from Amazon so you can prevent your car from being stolen.
We started our trek from the official parking lot in the Kilcluny Wood Park. The trail from the forest to the shore of the Komshingon Lake is manageable if you have an acceptable level of fitness. The views around the lake are also very beautiful, so it is worth it to reach here even if you cannot do the hard trail around the mountains over the lake. The trail over the lake is a loop. It can be done clockwise or counterclockwise. We chose the clockwise option, which we think is the best because the left side is the hardest part due to its steep and rocky terrain. Take note that overall, this trekking is strenuous, even more if you are carrying heavy backpacks as we did. Come on, Senor Prado! I'm not Samar in Aragorn, okay? What? Aragorn! <laughs> Son of his father. You're Gimli! Oh my gosh! Kids, don't do this at home! At home? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Mordor. Oh, Sauron! Sauron! He can see us! Ah! 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 Sam! <laughs> Komshingon is one of the finest examples of a quarry in Europe and the Komere Mountains' most famous landmark. Quarries were formed by glacier movement during the Ice Age. The cliffs behind the lake rise up to 1,200 feet. My husband just finished taking his sunset photo without the sun and this is the final outcome of his photo. So now we are packing up and we still have to look for our camp site and it's already getting dark. I must admit that this is not going to be an easy track, especially if you have heavy bags with you. These rocks keeps rolling down, so you need to put a lot of effort, but I think we're almost there. Now we've arrived on top of the mountain. We are now going to set up our tent. We found a place where Chano is going to take his sunrise photo. So this spot is where we are going to put our tent. And we have like a music. We have our own music over there. They're singing for us. <laughs> That's the tent we bought from Decathlon. One good tip if you decide to do wild camping is to practice setting up your tent at home before the trip to save time once you choose where to pitch your tent. Carry only essential things for the camp. Now I'm going to show you what we bought from Decathlon. These are our sleeping bags. This smaller one is Chano's and Mine is bigger. And we also got this air mattress. We got the XL and we already tried it and they are really comfortable. Now this is the final product. It's actually very tall. And I also got this pillow, which you're also gonna blow. China wheel. <laughs> Three. Little bit? What? <laughs> so this is the final product of my pillow. 
Now I'm ready to sleep. <laughs> and don't forget the trekking sticks. They are very nice to release tension from your joints, especially journeys. Water, really important. So these are the foods that we brought with us. They are very light, but they can give us some energy. We've already tried this before when we did our Wild Atlantic Way trip and we like it. And some whole grain bars, smoothies, nuts, and grapes. Also, it's very important to bring your mosquito and insect repellent. The trekking was tiring, but the views and the experience were highly rewarding. Don't need someone to save me. Buenos dias. going down we are now ready to dismantle our tent in three two one another tip that is very important to remember is to never leave anything behind Those small things over there are people. We started here, we went up, and then there. That part is crazy. You have to squeeze between the rocks and it's very steep. We slept somewhere over there this morning. We went here and on top of those rocks, went around it, behind that mountain and here, and then we're down on the small lake. So finally, we have finished our trek. It took us around two hours going down from the top, but actually we were stopping to take some videos and drone shots, so it wasn't so bad. Now we are going to eat our lunch. We're supposed to go back to Dublin but we are so hungry so we're just gonna eat our lunch where we ate yesterday. This is one of the best burgers I've ever tasted. If you know more places where you can do wild camping, please comment down below. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until next time, keep exploring, rain or shine.